for dead. Minutes after allegedly running over a woman in a West Dallas alleyway, prosecutors say it's what the suspect did next that helped land him in jail. Our Suzanne Spencer joins us live now with what happened in those minutes that turned fatal. Suzanne? Stephanie, those surveillance cameras were running when all of this happened Friday morning, and West Dallas police say without those cameras, they may not have gotten the charges that were just issued today. 51-year-old Jean Haas's life was filled with loss, but a final tragedy would take her life in the alley behind her home. I saw a shoe laying on the ground, a couple things laying everywhere. Early Friday morning, West Dallas police said Haas was run over and killed by a car in the alley. Cameras were rolling for a scene too graphic to show. It's like not real to me, really. I, I don't want to believe it. It's the worst pain I ever had. Haas knows tragedy. In 2015, Fox 6 interviewed her after losing her three-year-old daughter in a fire. He was like, uh, like really a blessing, you know, <laughs> like a little angel. Prosecutors now say Christopher Grosskreutz ran over her and never called for help. Crazy things happen, but I don't know. That's. I don't know how you don't see somebody in the middle of the alley. Prosecutors said video shows the victim sleeping in the alley at 1211. At 1230, they say the 53-year-old drove right over her, walked back to her, looked at her, before going inside home, never calling for help. Four minutes later, another neighbor found Haas's body. When interviewed by police, Grosskreutz first said he never hit anything. When confronted with the video, court documents say he told police he heard a baboon noise and kept going, then said he thought he had run over garbage. But investigators believe those were lies, too. The criminal complaint says without that video, the police may never have learned the defendant was the driver that struck and killed the victim. This suspect has no prior criminal record, but is due back in court here in Milwaukee County at the end of the month. Reporting live in downtown Milwaukee tonight, Suzanne Spencer, Fox 6 News. All right, Suzanne, thanks for that update.